All right, for 3A, uh, we have these uh, should look familiar to you. We did these before uh, in the first test when we talked about transformations. So they're kind of coming back again uh, here. So reminder, what you have to do here is we start with the base graph and then we draw each uh, step to get towards our last graph. Now it says to use the base graph of y equals 3 to the x. So let's start with that one uh, right here. Now the way that one works is all the exponential graphs, 3 to the x, 2 to the x, they are all are going to go through the same point. They're going to go through 0, 1. Uh, and so for this one, uh, we have, if you put in a, uh, a 0, 3 to the 0 is 1. Now another point it goes through is also going to be this one right here. It's going to go through 1, 3. So when I draw this in, it's going to basically look like this. And I have two main key points there that I can shift around and move. So that's the base graph, y equals 3 to the x. Okay, so you can always just put in a 0 and a 1 for x if you're not sure what it, what it looks like and you can get some points, but you know it's got to be one of these. It's going to have a horizontal asymptote and then it's going to uh, go up that way. Now next, we want to do y equals uh, 3 to the x and this time we're going to do I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the exponent part first, then I'll apply the negative, and then finally I'll, I'll add 3, and that's kind of the ordering uh, that I'm doing that as. So I do 3x minus 2. Now what that does is these two key points, it's going to move them opposite direction of what you see here. So both of these are going to move two places over to the right, which means that instead of that one being at 0, 1, it's going to be at, uh, we moved over two places, so it's going to be over at, at 2, 1. So that got shifted over two places to the right because of this right here. So that one got shifted over. Also, this other one, that gets shifted over two units as well. So instead of being at, at 1, 3, it's now going to be at 3, 3. So it's 3, 3 here will be right there. And the graph is going to now follow this and go up and look something like that. So that's what the second one is going to look like. Now next, we have to apply the negative sign right there. Now what the negative sign does, if you have it outside, it's going to flip the graph over this way. So it's going to be flipped over like that. And it's going to uh, end up going down like that. So everything here is going to be the same. We're still going to have um, it's moved over that far. However, this point now is going to be reflected over the x-axis. So instead of it being at 2, 1, it's now going to be at 2, negative 1. This point was at 3, 3. It's now going to be at 3 and negative 3. So 3, negative 3 will be right here. So now the graph uh, is going to open down like that. So this would be uh, y equals negative 3 x minus 2. That's the particular equation that we that we graphed there. So negative again flipped it over. If you have a negative in the exponent position then that would be a flip going over there. That would be a flip in the vertical direction but since it's on the outside that's why we did a flip over the horizontal axis. The very last one is going to be our final graph negative 3 x minus 2 plus 3 so we're going to take this graph the way it is, and we're going to move the whole thing up uh, three units. So the point that was there uh, at 2, negative 1, that gets shifted up two units, so it's going to go up to here. And the other one here was at 3, negative 3, that gets moved up three units. So that's going to be, actually this one, I'm sorry, I'm going to move it up one more here, because it was at negative 1, so it actually goes up here, so it should be at 2, 2. This one, we're going to move it up three units, so it's actually going to come right up to the uh, x-axis there is where it's going to be on. Now, this right here was where the original horizontal asymptote was. That gets moved up also, and I'm going to put a dotted line in here to indicate that we do have a horizontal asymptote. Now, the reason why that's important is because if you draw a line that's that's going up like this and keeps on increasing, that's not going to be correct because there is going to be a horizontal asymptote. So it's important to remember to include that as well. So that was the original horizontal that got moved up three. It's going to look like this. So now the graph is going to the final graph looks like that. It's going to be 
It's going to have a horizontal asymptote of 3, y equals 3, and it's going to go through these two points and it will cross the x-axis at 3.